Hey, hey, everybody! Welcome back to Grub Gains as we continue our deep dive into MTGA, also known as Magic the Gathering Arena. So, we are continuing to go through the decks that they give you when you start. So far, we've gone through Graveyard Bash, where we won a match. We've done Dragon Spire, where we won our match. Last video, we did Tactical Assault, and we had our butts handed to us, because we got paired up with a player who was way more in than we were so far. So, that's nothing wrong with the deck. That's just, we got, we got outplayed. So, we are going, I'm kind of in a toss-up. I don't know which one I want to play first, but I've decided that I think we're going to play Arcane Inventions first. Uh, and we'll save Forest's Might, which I've got a, I have a feeling of what's in there, but I haven't peeked yet. So, we'll get to that next video. So, Arcane Inventions. Let's take a look at the deck before we start to play. So, we get for a 1 mana, a 1 2 Gearsmith Prodigy, Human Artificer, um, and yeah, that artwork. Huh. That artwork is interesting. Alright, so Gearsmith the Prodigy gets plus one, plus zero, as long as you control an artifact. Now we get three of those, not bad. Then we have a two mana instant for Disperse, return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Then we have Diamond Mare. That's kind of cool. I, I wish that the horse had been made with more jagged edges. Typically aren't rounded. Um, but still, cool picture. Very pretty. Uh, two mana cost artifact. And as a diamond, as Diamond Mare enters the battlefield, choose a color whenever you... Whenever you cast a spell of the chosen color, you gain one life, so obviously we'd be picking blue. And it's a 1-3, a so that's pretty cool. You get one of those. Then we have Field Creeper. That's kind of cool. It makes me think very much of Jack Skeleton. Uh, Scarecrow Artifact, 2 mana for a 2-1. That's pretty vanilla, but we get four of those. Then we have Avian Wind Mage. 3 mana for a Bird Wizard that's a well, flying 2-2, two, two. that's never bad. Uh, then whenever you cast an instant or a sorcery spell, Avian Wind Mage gets plus one, plus one till end of turn. Hey, that's that's pretty good. And then we have Aviation Pioneer. Anybody else think that that face kind of looks like General Haldo from the Star Wars? Anybody? Just maybe? Ah. Anyhow, it's so a three mana for a one two creature human artificer. When Avian Pioneer enters the battlefield, we get a one one colorless thorn. Uh, basically, we get a one one flying creature, uh, though it's a Thopter artifact. So that's pretty cool. We have three of these. Then we have Befuddle, three mana instant. Target creature gets minus four, minus zero till end of turn, and we get to draw a card. Cool way to stop an attack. Wish it was a minus four, minus four, but that's whatever. Uh, then we have Divination, three mana sorcery. We get to draw two cards. We get one of those. Uh, Sidemaster Thopperist. All right, three mana for a one four human artificer. It's a legendary. And then whenever you cast an artifact spell, create one color stone opter. So that's pretty cool. And then um, sacrifice two artifacts to draw a card, plus two mana. All right. Let's scroll down. All right. So then we have the Tempest Jin. So three mana for a zero for flying. Tempest Jin gets plus one for every basic land you control. 
so this card will get more and more powerful late game. It's a minimum of a 3-4 when you think about the fact that you have to have at least 3 mana to bring it out. Alright. Water Knot. 3 mana enchantment or a enchant creature when you Water Knot enters the battlefield, tap Enchanted Creature. Enchanted Creature doesn't untap during its controller's on tap phase. Alright, so again, we're pacifying. Um, Arcane Encyclopedia, 3 mana for an artifact that we pay 3 and tap to draw a card. Then we have Scholar of Stars. We have 4 mana for a 3-2 when Scholar of Stars enters the battlefield. If you control an artifact, draw a card. All right. Snapping Drake. This is cool. This is a reprint, uh, but it's got some updated artwork, it looks like, or at least has updated artwork by comparison to the Snapping Drakes that I have in my collection. And that's, uh, you know, it's a 4 mana flying for a 3-2. It's a Drake. Hard to argue. Then we have a 4 mana artifact golem, 3-3. Three, three. So 4 mana for 3-3, three, three, eh, give or take. Then we have air elemental, classic magic card, flying, 4-4 four, four for 5. Gearsmith guardian, 5 mana artifact creature construct. Gearsmith guardian gets plus 2, plus 0 as long as you control a blue creature. So, in this deck, that means he should be basically a 5-5. Five, five. Alright. Riddling... Riddle Master Sphinx. Six mana for a creature Sphinx. It's a rare. With flying at 5-5. Five, five. When Riddle Master Sphinx enters the battlefield, you may return target creature and opponent controls to their hand. Kind of a way to clear out the battlefield a little. Alright. Whew. Zanjin of the Lamb. Alright, so we are talking about a 6 mana, 5 6 legendary creature, which is a rare, and you may pay for and tap an untapped artifact you control rather than pay the spell's mana cost. Okay. So, in other words, we can make it a little bit cheaper. Alright. And it's got flying. Who doesn't like flying? Then we have Meteor Golem, which seems to come with everything, and our islands. So we've been through the deck. Let's switch over from the deck from our last video. Really should prepare that before ahead of time. Alright, here we go. gets to go first. Hey, I'm not going to argue with that. Three lands, let's go. Now, I wish that the mechanics on this was a little more drag and drop. Instead, it's this weird sort of... I can't just drag it to the field. I have to click it, then move the mouse, and then click again. Whereas uh, just being able to grab it with the click and move it out and drop it I think would be a better mechanic. Oops, got that amulet out. Alright. It's got two amulets out. Click our land. Play our land. So let's get our little vanilla field creeper out there. So 
So it looks like we're playing somebody who's got a modified deck, white and blue. Yay for control. I don't want to attack. Can I skip the attack? Why is it? Do I have to attack? Why do I have to attack? I don't want to attack. Go away. End my turn. End my turn. I'll take the one damage. I'm not that afraid of him. So it's not giving me the option to just let things happen. I'm not interested in blocking. snapping Drake. See if our opponent chooses to counter it or throw it back in our hand. Okay. Now we'll attack. Oh, yay, Flash. Well, there goes our creature. Is that a flying? Yes, it does. So, uh, then what do we want to do? We can do Disperse, we can do Water Knot, we can play a Golem, read this guy's ability. All right. There we go. took forever. Thank you. 
Can I just take the one damage already? There we go. Ooh, he's just building up that mana. Yes, resolve. Resolve. Do that. Gotcha. Did I? How was it highlighted them? There we go. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. about all these graphics. Yay, white, blue, K. 
control, no blockers. Let's just get this over with. See, I don't understand why that takes so long to resolve. He attacks, I say no. It, it, it shouldn't be this drawn out. Let it resolve. Let it resolve. Come on. Come on. Thank you. And that's game. No blockers. There's no reason to. All right. So the mono blue deck against blue white control, we were decimated. But at least we at least we hit them. We didn't give them a flawless victory. But I hate it. I mean, basically, we were playing control light against an actual control deck. Yay, yay prizes. Gotta like prizes. Um, and that's just never fun. Control versus control is always kind of ugh, one of those drawn-out battles. Uh, even in real life, when you find out two people are playing blue, mono blue, or blue white, you you usually cringe. And it's the same here. Not not to be anything to be too different. Uh, anyhow, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you thought it was interesting to see the decks that they give you uh, to start the game with. And remember, till next time, be good people. Have fun doing it. And every day is a great day to make gains.